Hi, I'm Paula from Fairy Chic Emporium and today I am going to be doing the makeover of the two uh, walking sticks that we purchased, Manda and I, on our bargain hunt at Julia's house. Now I did originally consider painting one and decoupaging the other but then I went through my um, decoupage um, box and I couldn't choose between two um, napkins that I really like so I'm going to decoupage both of them and show you how that works. Basically these are the two that I chose and hopefully you'll understand why I couldn't decide between them. So I've got a bird one and I just thought people that go walking just be really nice to have little birds on the walking stick and then I've got this slightly more French um, butterfly napkin. So I really like that one too. Now as you can see, this one in the background, the main colour is a slightly cream. So I'm gonna use Fairy Chic Sen, whereas the bird is much more, the background is whiter. It's quite subtle. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But you probably can see the difference there. So. For the bird one, I'm going to use Kai, which is a pure white in the background, and that will work better um, once I get going. So the first thing I've got to do is paint all of my, both of my walking sticks, one each, in the Sen and the Kai. And so I shall give them a couple of decent coats of that and blow dry it with my hair dryer and then show you the decoupaging process. So I'll come back once I've got the paint on, okay. Right, so I've painted them a solid coat of um, chalk paint and I've used, thank goodness for hair dryers, um, hair dryers are brilliant for drying off chalk paint so you don't have to sit and wait for ages for it to dry naturally. Um, and you can get the hair dryers really pretty close to the paint and it doesn't bubble up or do it, you know, do it any harm at all. Um, so I'm ready to start the decoupage. So I thought I'd show you there's lots of different types of things that you can decoupage with. This is a sheet of rice paper and you can look up on eBay um, rice papers and you can get these of different sizes. This is obviously um, roughly A4 but you can get much bigger ones um, if you're in the UK Zazzle.com do some really lovely beautiful big ones um, a rice paper is stronger than napkins so it's a bit more forgiving you don't have to be quite so gentle it's not so fragile it holds together but I have also used um, this and I literally put it in the photocopier and printed off an, on a normal piece of paper the same image and then I tore that image up of, on the paper and used that as decoupage so that was just normal paper and it worked really well. Um, you can obviously also print onto tissue paper. Some paper napkins like this have sort of a whole entire image that you would sort of be looking at um, decoupaging the whole image in its own right and then there's other napkins like the ones I'm going to be using today where you might not want the whole scene um, so you might just want to tear out sort of individual pieces of it and build up your own picture in a different way so I'm going to start with the butterfly one and the butterfly one is pretty um, random in its own right so I'm literally going to be wrapping it round in sections and I'm going to decoupage it on without tearing it up too much but I am going to tear up the edges so that I don't have a straight line I don't want it to look like there's a seam um, paper napkins have three layers and I'm taking off the back two it is usually easier if you take them off at this stage before you break into the whole napkin slightly less fiddly and as you can see sometimes this is the the back you've still got a bit of an imprint left of the butterflies in this case and I could use that sheet for a fainter decoupage effect on something else or in between to break it up and in this kind of instance, the 
decoupage is actually like working I guess a bit like patchwork in that you're building up um, layers they overlap really well because the, the napkin is translucent so I'm just gently going down here you can see they're quite um, tough even though you can screw them up I mean even though they're obviously tissue and fragile but screwing it up and getting creases in it isn't going to affect it and I'm literally going down the edge the outside edge and just tearing off a very thin strip so that my broken edge is broken and then I'm going to just roughly work out how much I need to go round my napkin it doesn't matter if it around my stick it doesn't matter if it overlaps a bit because as I say overlapping with this translucency really won't show and that's what we're trying to avoid with the broken edge it's showing for this very first piece the bottom edge can be straight because it's going to go directly onto the straight um, end of the stick but the top end of it I'm going to create another broken edge so that it will be ready for the next layer to go up so there there's my piece it's straight at the bottom and the bottom bit is going to go here so what I'm going to do let's see if I can get you to see what I'm doing I'm going to just adjust the canvas slightly there so I'm going to place it where I want it and I'm going to be using matte finish this is my brand um, it's good for it because it's quite thin and runny in consistency but if you haven't got it you can use Mod Podge um, or your own brand of matte finish whatever suits so I just use a fairly soft brush and start brushing over the napkin move this out of the way you might be able to see it better and I'm going down the center to get the center in place and because it's so um, thin the matte finish literally just soaks straight through it now if you're going to use rice paper I'd recommend putting the matte finish on the surface you're sticking to first because it's not as thin it won't go through and when you get to this point you realize why you painted the background color the color you did because it's all just dissolving into it and it looks like you pan painted your design on it's really very effective if you can see as I'm working around Do have to be gentle as it will tear if it starts to tear move away from it you can use a hairdryer to dry it off a bit and then you can go back to it you can even if you get a big hole you can just use a patch of the same napkin to put over the top of it and as long as you tear around it it should dissolve in really pretty well the only time that won't work is obviously if you've got a completely clean picture like the flower one I showed you, if you've got a big hole in that, it'd be quite difficult to patch it accurately, but not impossible. Oh, she's looking beautiful. And I think we always associate walking sticks with people that are older, but one, why can't older people have nice looking sticks? And two, lots of people sprain their ankles, break their legs and whatever, they need a stick. And do they have to have a horrible, boring stick? Or can they make something beautiful? And these walking sticks are something you can pick up from charity shops everywhere. 
and this was a pound. So what a nice present to give to someone. Now this um, matte finish also acts as a sealer, so as long as I've got a fairly liberal amount on, it will protect. But what I shall do is, once I've dried it off, is go over the whole thing again with a second coat of it, just because we know this stick's going to be going outdoors. And it won't do it any harm at all to have some extra protection. Now I've got my first wrap around in place. And it looks lovely. I don't know if you can see that. See how pretty that looks. So I'm literally going to tear out another length to go here and just overlap it slightly at this point and work my way up to the end. So I'm going to just do it in exactly the same way and then sh I'll come back and show you when the whole piece is finished. Okay, I'll see you back in a bit. Right, so I have finished my butterfly um, stick. Look at that. It's just gorgeous, done it. It just folds all around the handle perfectly. Lovely, I've sealed it. It's really hard to sort of show you how lovely it is, but it really is very pretty. I'm very pleased with it. I'm gonna try and get a decent photograph of it to show you. So I'm now onto my white one that I'm gonna use the birds. And I've taken off the two back layers already and I'm gonna do slightly different with this one because obviously as it is it's not going to just stick on all the way so I'm going to tear out again using my tearing little sections of birds so there's my first one and I make sure that again it's torn all the way around your section so I've got a little birdie and I'm going to fairly randomly at this point do exactly the same with the, the matte finish, smooth it on. Really, hopefully, you can see that. Smooth on my bird. Now, you can do this with um, flower napkins and make them look like they're growing up and joined. If, you, if you're careful and clever about the joins of the stems, the stalks, you can actually make it look like it's like a growing, creeping flower. I've done that. There's another tutorial in my YouTube channel on um, a set of ladders where I've done that. I've showed you that with a sweet pea napkin. So at the moment, I've just got one little bird. Can you see that on there? So I'm gonna rip out, tear out even, a few more. I'll let you watch me continue, but I'll speed this bit up. So you can see how I gradually build up my scene. So I've decided with this one, just to really be in contrast with the other one, that less is more. So I've just chosen a really sort of small area. I've tried to look at it from the front, but I wanted to show you, and I hope you can see, that because they're so translucent, they can be literally overlapped. So I've put some foliage here, I've just literally cut out the foliage. And then I've placed a bird on the top of the foliage, sort of in position. So there are some areas where I've used just the foliage to kind of build up branches um, and look like it's all part of the same scene. So that's the, that's the sort of clever bit about decoupage that makes it look really cool. I really like it. I really like both. I like the 
kind of Frenchness of the butterfly one, um, but I like the simplicity of the birds one too, and I think it's probably personal taste. Um, but I hope you like it, and I hope you have a go, and decoupage is very versatile. Um, you can certainly use it on so many different projects. Um, I've got lots of projects on my channel uh, where I've used it, so you can certainly uh, look back on other videos to see what I've done. Um, if you want to see what Manda created with her find um, at Julia's house, then pop over to her channel, The Painted Lady. The link is next to my channel so you can get straight across there and subscribe and we will be continuing to do further crafty projects with our uh, bargain thrifting sessions um, to come so I hope you'll join us. Um, thanks again as always please remember to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified when something new comes up. Thank you very much, bye bye.